Today's video is gonna be a bit different than normal. Yeah, I know I've been saying that a lot lately, but today's no different. Minecraft animations are among some of the most popular Minecraft videos on all of YouTube. My two most viewed videos are animated music videos, both of which have been viewed over 20 million times. I'll link to a playlist where you can check out all of them if you want to. Though these were made with high level animation software and not the software I'm about to show off. But I'm absolutely positive that the most common question that animators get is what software do you use? Today I want to show you guys a piece of software made specifically for Minecraft animations. While this software isn't professional grade software by any stretch of the imagination, it's pretty robust for beginner Minecraft animations. My aim with this video is to assist would-be animators, to make them aware of a great free start to animation. If you get heavily invested in animation through this Minimator software, then I would strongly recommend looking into options like Maya or Cinema 4D, because it's pretty clear animation could be in your future. So let's go ahead and check out the Minimator animation software. While this video isn't going to be a tutorial of Minimator, the idea is those interested will do more research on their own, but I will be showing the building blocks of character animation and the UI for this software. So when you start Minimator and set up a new project file, you're going to start with a clean slate world. On the top left of the screen are your menu options, on the bottom are your animation keyframes, and on the right are the various properties of whatever you have selected and the project itself. To make things easier, let's go in order. So on the top left, if you click on the workbench icon, you can add new elements to your scene. These range from lighting, cameras, blocks, custom shapes, schematic files, and for the sake of this video, the character and mob animation rig. You can apply whatever skin you want to it and make whatever mob you want, but I'm going to stick with Human Steve for now. In order for you to learn the specifics of how to move Steve, I'd recommend just messing around with all of these settings at random and seeing what they all do. But in a nutshell, you can modify the XYZ position and rotation of the body, head, arms, and legs. You can also bend the body, arms, and legs, something you couldn't do four years ago with the software. Once you start messing around with this stuff, you might notice on the bottom of the screen there are these little diamond shapes. Those are what are called keyframes. If you want to animate, click and drag the playhead to a new spot and then move one of the ligaments again. Now you're going to notice there are two keyframes. If I drag the playhead between these two points and look at the software itself, it smoothly moves between the two keyframes and you can see the ligament move. This is the fundamental, basic element of animation. To animate full scenes, you need to do stuff like this hundreds of times for just seconds of footage. It's tedious, but that's just how animation is. And that's pretty much all I'm going to show you guys for now. If you're extremely interested in learning more, again, I would recommend downloading the program, trying it out, and looking up more advanced tutorials. Some of the greatest animators in the world are self-taught because it's the passion that drives them. And especially if you're in your teenage years and you're interested in this stuff, learn now. You're going to be well ahead of your peers when you begin learning this stuff officially and professionally, if you get that far. Just remember, this software is an amazing stepping stone, but if you get really good with it, I really would recommend looking up more advanced software to animate with, like Maya or Cinema 4D. And that's it. Again, the point of this video was not for it to be a tutorial. It was to show people that this software exists. Naturally, those who are more interested will take this information and look up tutorials of it. For those not interested, well, at least you know it exists and you can tell your friends about it or you can just dabble with it from time to time if you want to. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a rating on it. It would help out myself, the channel, and the video quite a lot. But anyways, guys, I hope you all enjoyed. My name is Ant Venom, and I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching.